Hello, Bella. So, how was the first day at school? Oh, hi, Jade. Yeah, everything was great. Everybody in class is so friendly. Um, thanks again for taking me on a tour of the school today. You're welcome. If you need any help, just say so. Everyone here is very kind. <laughs> thanks. It looks like you're very popular here. While visiting, I saw everyone talking very happily with you. Yeah, I'm very lucky indeed. People don't discriminate against and bully me because my family is poor, but they also help me loads. It sounds great. May I ask why you transferred schools? If you don't want to talk, that's fine. Um, nothing much. My dad wants to open a new restaurant here, so my family moved here to be more convenient. Oh, I see. Don't worry, you'll fit in just fine. But do you think we look like sisters? I mean, we both have brown hair and beautiful blue-gray eyes. Oh, I hope that too. Oh, I must prepare for the essay the teacher assigned today. Remember that we'll have to submit it on Friday. Got it. Bye. Hey, Bella. Did you hand in our class essay to the teacher on Friday? He just told me he didn't see anyone bring papers to hand in. Last Friday, you said you would help me bring it to the teacher because I had a stomach ache and had to go to the school infirmary. Jade, what are you talking about? I already gave it to the teacher. But he said he'd been waiting all day and no one has submitted. The teacher said he would give the whole class an F for this exercise. Oh my god. Could it be that I submitted my work to the wrong person? Oh no, it's all on me. Because of me, everyone will have to relearn the subject now. Submit it to the wrong person? Do you remember what the person looked like? Not really, I just remember he was fat and wore a cap. Fat? But our history teacher has a slim body. I'm really sorry. Since I only met him once, I don't remember what he looked like. What should I do now? I will go and apologize to the teacher and ask him to let classmates redo the test. And I will get an F myself. That's okay. Don't blame yourself anymore, Bella. It was because I didn't complete the assigned task. I should have given you more specific guidelines. It's because I'm too careless. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to help. I knew it. I will ask the teacher for the class to turn in the work tomorrow. But since these are some handwritten essays, our classmates may feel uncomfortable rewriting them. I understand that. I'll take responsibility for that. No, Bella. This is not entirely your fault, so don't say anything. Just pretend you don't know anything. I should be the one to bear your discomfort. Oh, Jade. You're really nice. I just do what I have to do. How could you do that to Bella? You lost your essay and we had to start over, which is unacceptable. And now you've pushed Bella down the stairs? What did Bella do to displease you? What? Alice, what are you talking about? I didn't do that. Who told you that I pushed Bella? Did he see firsthand? Bella told me. What? Bella said I pushed her down? Actually, no. But she said when she fell down, a person with red hair and blue gray eyes stood right after her. There were only two girls in the school that matched the description. What if it was Bella falling on her own? I walked right behind Bella at that time because she said a teacher wanted to see me. <laughs> Ridiculous. You mean Bella hurt herself just to blame you? Why does she have to do that? I don't know. I want to know the reason too. But I think I know why you pushed Bella down the stairs. What? I have no reason to do it. You are just jealous because everyone liked Bella more than you. Since Bella moved here, she's been the center of attention, not you anymore. On top of that, Bella is also very good at studying. You feared she would take your place, so you harmed her, right? Alice, these are baseless. 
I'm not jealous at all. I'm also happy for Bella because she gets along so well with everyone. Oh, come on. Don't you feel guilty for what you've done? I clearly didn't do anything wrong. I think Bella wants to protect you. She said that she was clumsy and tripped carelessly when giving way to you ahead, not because you pushed her. Well, it was the truth? Not at all. If you don't believe me, I'll text Bella to clarify. Oh, don't try to text Bella to threaten to lie for you. Stay away from her. I didn't expect you to be such a dangerous person. No, Alice, listen to me. I didn't do it. Hey, little thief. What are you going to steal today? My watch or my phone? Alice, I told you many times that I'm not the one who stole your iPad. Ha! Huh. So why could I find my iPad in your bag, not anyone else in the class? I think maybe someone stole it and put it in my bag. Ha! Huh. That's exactly what a thief would say when caught. Stop denying it. Everyone knows it was you. Before changing my exercise uniform, the iPad was still in my bag. But after finishing the class, it disappeared. Only you who stayed at class during the exercise class yesterday. That was a perfect chance for you to steal it. Well, not only me. Bella was there too. When I came back to class from the restroom, Bella was in the class. But then she went to join the class right after. Bella? Oh, come on. If you want to find someone to blame, choose someone motivated to do so. Bella just moved here two weeks ago. She's a very kind and nice girl. Do you know that our family is very wealthy because they own a chain of restaurants? Besides, she has no reason to hate me. Therefore, she has no reason to do that. So why do you guys suspect me? We've been classmates for two years. Isn't it too clear? Because you're as poor as a church mouse. The first day I brought the iPad to class, you asked me to borrow it for a while, but I denied it, so you wanted revenge on me. And because I knew about you harming Bella, I told the whole class the truth. No, Alice. It wasn't me, I promise. I really don't understand why your iPad is inside my bag. And I know everyone hates me now, so if I do, won't I be the first to be suspected? Uh, I have many shreds of evidence here, so why don't you admit it? So explain why you were absent from exercise class yesterday and what you did all that time. Well, I just, it was because of my personal issues. Oh, I understand. Your issue was to wait for the perfect time to take somebody's stuff. Lately, you seem to be turning into a completely different person. No, it's just, my gym uniform had been torn. It seems like someone has cut and trampled on it. I was very shocked and couldn't believe what was happening. That's why I asked the teacher to stay in class. Oh my God, are you serious? Do you think that I'll believe you after everything you have done all the time? If it was the truth, why didn't you tell anyone about it? Because I don't want everyone doubting each other. So I thought I should just keep it to myself. I cried a lot that day, so maybe I had fallen for some moment and went to the restroom to wash my face. So that's why your eyes were red. But who knows? What if you cut your uniform and blamed it on someone else? Oh, I got it. You planned it all. No, Alice, I would never do that. You know I'm poor, so if I cut myself, how can I get money to buy a new one? If you could successfully steal it, you could sell it for money, right? If so, why would I have to work hard to steal it? Just to get money to buy a new uniform? Besides, if I really wanted to steal it, I wouldn't hide it in my bag. Wouldn't you find out your lost iPad as soon as you got back to class and would look for it right away? And I'm not stupid not to know that the school bag would be the first place to look. Uh-huh. It sounds quite reasonable. But it wasn't you then who did that. And why did he or she put it in your bag? Actually, I'm thinking about one person. 
but I'm not sure. Who? Well, Bella. Bella? Why? I think she's a sweet girl. She would never do those bad things. But don't you find it strange that things have become very confusing since she moved here? Things like losing things often happen in class, and our class from a very united class has now become form factions. These things have never happened in the past two years, but since Bella appeared, everything has changed. It's hard not to doubt her. Hmm. Ah, oh, I remembered. Yesterday, while the class was playing handball, I seem to have seen Bella leave the field for a while. If there is a chance she went back to class, we have no evidence, so we can't accuse her like that. I think I need to investigate more about it to be able to find the real culprit and to end everyone's suspicions of me. And as the class monitor, I can't let this unstable situation in class continue. Uh, yeah, sorry for not trusting you. I feared losing my iPad without considering everything. And about how I blamed you for pushing Bella down the stairs, I'm so, so sorry for just hearing only from one side. That's fine. Things have not gone too far. Can we still be friends? Oh, yeah, of course. But keep this private. I need to investigate carefully before I tell anyone the truth. I don't want Bella to be hated and ostracized by everyone like I am. Yes, noted. If you need my help, PM me, okay? It's okay. Good night. Have sweet dreams. Hey, Jade. Are you okay? I don't know what happened to them. I tried to explain that it was my carelessness, not that you pushed me, but they didn't seem to believe it. I don't know what to do anymore. Bella, I don't understand why you keep trying to harm me like this. Did I do something to upset you? I'm sorry, Jade. I really didn't mean to mislead people. But it seems people didn't like you before, so now they're just using me as an excuse to boycott you. Ugh, I feel really bad when I have to tell you like this. Stop it, Bella. Did you ever really mean to apologize to me, or was it just a cover you were trying to make up? Huh? I don't get your point. No, Bella. You know exactly what my point is. I looked up the teacher you said you had submitted your class papers, but no one in the school matched your description except the janitor. When I asked him, he said there was also a girl who looked similar to me and asked him where the garbage disposal was. Since her red hair stood out, he was very impressed. There are lots of girls in school that have red hair, Jade. But only you are like me. Everyone mistook us for sisters. So I went to the garbage collection area to look, and surprisingly, everyone's post was dumped there. Especially my essay was ripped and trampled on. Exactly the same as what happened to my gym uniform. It just might prove to be more haters than you think. There's nothing to prove, I did it for sure. I found scissors in your locker. Did you know that schools prohibit students from bringing sharp objects to school? Every week, the class monitors will go check the lockers of their classmates to report back to the supervisor. What kind of weird rule is that? This is an invasion of the student's privacy. Besides, I only bring scissors to cut my hair. Nothing else. One thing you don't know about me is that I hate the smell of sweat. So my gym clothes are always sprayed with a lot of body mist. And isn't it weird that your scissors smell like the same body mist I used? Shouldn't I be able to use it? Is it your exclusive? Actually, that's true. My dad is a researcher for a perfume factory, and he researched this body mist just for me. No way. How can he? Even the fact that you stole Alice's iPad to blame me. A friend from another class saw you alone and was rummaging through my bag when I went to the restroom. No, no, that's not me. I did nothing wrong. I know everything about you, Bella. I know that you are the one behind all of this bullshit. Jade, 
I understand you are getting mad at me. It doesn't mean you have the right to talk as if I was trying to take a dump. Well, I think I understand what I'm talking about. I'm the monitor, so the teacher showed me your profile and learned that you were expelled for bullying your friends. Not just transferring yourself, as you said. I went back to your old school and met your old classmates. They tell me bad things you did to your friends, and it's exactly what you're doing to me right now. No, Jade. Actually, I was the one being bullied. They made fun of me because I didn't have a dad. Well, that's exactly what I heard from your teacher. She said you always pretended to be the victim and made up stories that your classmates tried to harm you. They said you were always targeting girls who are more popular in school. Ha! Huh. They have really big mouths. You know nothing about me, so stop pretending you know everything and shut up! Why did you do those awful things with me? Do we have any enmity with each other? Huh. You're so silly, sister. Or should I be more specific? Half-sisters! What? What the hell are you talking about? I'm the only child of my mom. Yes, but we have the same dad. He abandoned my mother while she was pregnant with me and married your mother soon after. For the past 17 years, I have lived in misery. I was always teased by my friends for not having a father. Why do you have a happy family and are loved by your friends? Those things are supposed to belong to me. Why do I have to put up with that? It was you who stole my father. Huh? What are you talking about? My mother was my father's first love. They had been dating since high school and by the time they finished college, my mother had married my father. Don't talk nonsense like that. Apparently, my mom said he dated my mom in her freshman year of college. Henry, you're an asshole. What? You said your dad's name is Henry? But my dad's name is Peter. Huh? Are you kidding me? Oh, I see what's going on here. My father has a twin brother. His name is Henry. Maybe it was Uncle Henry who dated your mother. Not my father. What? This can't be real. So if it's true what you say, then we're just cousins, not half-sisters. No way. How? So I got revenge on the wrong person? Oh my god. I think so. No. No, what did I do? I'm so sorry, Jade. I didn't know anything that my dad had a twin. Hmm. Actually, I don't think you need to apologize to me. You should apologize to her classmates. They have already accused him of stealing, slandering, and destroying other people's belongings in the school. I think the council will call you to work soon. What? It can't be like that. I didn't mean it. It's all just a misunderstanding. Please, Jade, tell them to help me. I don't think I can. You should tell them by yourself. Please, please, please. We're cousins. Please help me. I really enjoy studying here. I don't want to be expelled anymore. In the end, her classmates agreed to forgive Bella, but the school still decided to punish her by suspending school for one semester. She and Uncle Henry also became father and daughter. Turns out, for the past 17 years, he didn't know he had a daughter because Bella's mother had never contacted him. Ultimately, we became cousins again, but it took a long time for Bella to let go of her guilt and be normal with me.